And there's been no shortage of challenges for our local fire department this year. But one issue that's been caused by the pandemic could result in longer waiting times for those who call for help. 23 BC's Austin Westfall is live outside a fire station in Northwest Bakersfield and tells us why KCFD is having staffing issues due to COVID-19. Good evening, Austin. Yeah, Alex, since day one of the pandemic, the Kern County Fire Department says that it's been taking steps in order to protect not only its firefighters, but the people that they're responding to. But still, as the amount of cases here in Kern County have grown, so have the number of firefighters infected. You know what? You hear a lot in the news, unprecedented. This is unprecedented uh, for us. The Kern County Fire Department is used to facing some pretty big challenges, but this one is a little bit different. We may get to the point where we can't um, staff, fully staff all of our fire stations. Dean Bowler is the chief deputy with the Kern County Fire Department, and he says because of the pandemic, the number of firefighters available to staff their stations and respond to emergencies is diminishing. He says 24 firefighters are positive for COVID as of Wednesday. That's along with 27 that are out for taking care of family who have it. Another 25 are off duty due to injury, and that's on top of 62 vacant positions. So in total, that's more than 30% of their entire staff. As things progress, if they get worse, we'll have to consider uh, browning out stations for short periods of time if we don't have the staffing. Browning out is another way of saying temporary closures. That doesn't mean you won't get help, though. It just means help may take longer to arrive if you're in an area where a station closes. So anybody in that area, they're still going to get service. They'll just have a longer response time from an adjacent station. We reached out to the Bakersfield Fire Department to see if they're in a similar crunch for firefighters. They say it's been a challenge, but not to the same extent. Uh, we do have some members out. I don't have that total number that are out, but we're able to fill every position each and every day. Both KCFD and BFD have implemented strategies to prevent the spread of the virus while assisting those in need. This includes wearing PPE and questioning people before having direct contact with them. While KCFD isn't at a critical point yet, they're asking for the community's assistance by only calling 911 if you're experiencing a serious medical emergency. That way, resources can be preserved. Just so we have fire engines and fire trucks available to uh, go to emergencies other than uh, folks that don't really need to go to the hospital. Now we reached out to Kern Public Health to see how significant of a role that firefighter responses play in the spread of the virus throughout the community. They didn't give us any specifics on that, but they instead reiterated that the most common place of spread here in Kern County for the virus is through people in your own household. For now, though, signing off outside of Kern County Fire Station 61, Austin Westfall, 23ABC, connecting you.